Looking to build a powerful new PC with AMD's latest Ryzen chips? Today, we're breaking down the best AM5 motherboards you can buy, ranked from the weakest to the absolute best. Stick around, you might just find the perfect board for your next rig. Coming in at number 5, the Gigabyte B650 Eagle AX is our entry-level pick. It's built on the budget-friendly B650 chipset, but still supports the full Ryzen 7000, 8000, and even the 9000 series processors. It's a decent starting point for anyone looking to get into the AM5 ecosystem without spending a fortune. You still get DDR5 support, 3 M.2 slots for your storage, one of which is PCIe Gen 5, and Wi-Fi 6E for wireless connectivity. It also includes enough USB ports to cover your everyday needs. For most general users or light gamers, this covers the basics pretty well. Compared to the others on this list, it's stripped down, but functional. However, there are some key downsides. The onboard Ethernet is only 1 gigabit, which is a step down from the 2.5 or even 5 gigabit ports seen on higher-end boards. The memory support caps out lower than the others too, and there's no PCIe 5.0 slot for your graphics card. If you're building a budget system or upgrading gradually over time, this could be a smart place to start. But for more demanding builds, there are stronger options coming up. By the way, if you're interested in any of the boards we talk about today, I've linked them all below at the best prices I could find. Check out the description after the video. Next up at number 4 is the ASUS Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi. This board improves in a few key areas while sticking to the B650 chipset. ASUS brings its tough durability and military-grade components to the table here, making it more robust than the Gigabyte board we just looked at. One big plus is the 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet, which doubles your wired speed. It also supports slightly faster memory overclocking and brings a better USB package with USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 for super-fast transfers. Build quality here feels solid, and it has just enough future-proofing to stretch your dollar further. But again, there are limits. This board still doesn't support PCIe 5.0 for graphics cards, just for one M.2 slot. That could be a deal-breaker if you plan on upgrading your GPU down the line. And while it's more refined than the Gigabyte's entry, it's still a mid-range board at heart. It's a great fit for gamers or builders who want reliability and decent performance without going overboard. Think of it like the Toyota of motherboards. Safe, efficient, and dependable. And hey, if you're enjoying this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more PC hardware breakdowns just like this one. At number 3, we move into the high-end territory with the MSI MAG X870 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. This is where things get exciting. You get the full power of the X870 chipset, support for AMD's latest Ryzen CPUs, and a massive jump in bandwidth and connectivity. MSI didn't hold back here. Dual PCI 5.0 M.2 slots, blazing fast Wi-Fi 7, 5 gigabit Ethernet, and support for ultra-fast DDR5 memory up to 8400 MTS. And let's not forget USB 4 support, which is still rare on most boards. This is a board made for serious gaming, content creation, or anything that needs raw performance. There are some trade-offs, though. It only includes a single PCI 5.0 slot for GPUs, and some bandwidth sharing may occur between M.2 and USB controllers, depending on how you configure your build. Also, no flashy RGBs if you're into those visual extras. But if performance and value matter more than lighting, this is a strong pick. It's well-rounded, dependable, and won't let you down in heavy workloads or gaming marathons. In the runner-up spot, we've got the MSI MPG X870E Edge Ti Wi-Fi. This one brings everything the Tomahawk has and turns the dial up. Built on the higher-tier X870E chipset, it offers more advanced PCIe lane handling and a better layout for high-performance systems. It's got dual PCIe 5.0 M.2 slots, fast USB 4, front panel USB-C with power delivery, and blazing memory speeds up to 8400 plus MTS. The board is sleek, clean, and very capable. You also get strong networking with 5 gigabit Ethernet and Wi-Fi 7. It's designed to handle heavy gaming and productivity with ease. The main downside here is that like the Tomahawk, it only has one PCIe 5.0 by 16 slot for your graphics card. And some USB and M.2 slots do share lanes, which could slightly limit flexibility for extreme setups. Also, no premium onboard audio upgrades if that matters to you. This is for users who want cutting-edge performance but don't need all the bells and whistles of a flagship board. If you want a near top-tier board without maxing out your budget, this is where you should look. 
And finally, taking the crown at number 1 is the Asus ROG Crosshair X870e Hero. This is the king of AM5 motherboards right now, fully loaded, incredibly powerful, and built to dominate. We're talking triple PCIe 5.0 M.2 slots, dual LAN, Wi-Fi 7, USB 4, and a top-of-the-line audio package with an ESS DAC for audio files. Every spec screams performance, from the robust power delivery to the premium build quality. Now, it does come at a price. Literally. It's expensive. And some may find the extra features overkill if they're not running a top-tier GPU, multiple SSDs, or demanding workloads. But if you're building a dream PC or future-proofing for years to come, this is the one to be. This board is for enthusiasts, content creators, hardcore gamers, anyone who refuses to compromise. It's the final boss of AM5 boards and easily earns its place at the top of our list. That wraps up our countdown of the best AM5 motherboards you can get right now. Make sure to check out the product links in the description for the best prices. If you found this helpful, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next build guide or hardware breakdown. Catch you in the next one!